is Fox 5 News at 10. And we have breaking news first at 10. Good evening to you. I'm Ernie Gadastas. I'm Derry Alexander. Suspicious letters containing... Ernie, Diane Schuler's final hours are revealed in disturbing detail. What a newly released police report shows she was doing right before the wrong way crash that claimed eight lives, including her own. Fox Eyes Dick Brennan with that report and reaction to it. Video obtained by Fox 5 shows Diane Schuler stopping at a gas station in Liberty, New York, trying to buy painkillers. But an hour later, police reports indicate a woman matching Schuler's description was seen on the side of Route 17, quote, bent over with her hands on her knees, as if throwing up. This is obviously a sign of her possible intoxication at that point. That's approximately one hour after she leaves McDonald's and Sunoco. And later on 87, north of the Ramapo rest area, witnesses indicate that she is sick or is going to vomit. She's observed vomiting on the side of the road in Middletown. She is then observed uh, driving recklessly, flashing her headlights, zigzagging in and out of the lane. And by the same motorist, once again, um, uh, observed on the side of the road, vomiting. Police say Schuler was drunk and high when she crashed her car in the Taconic, killing eight people. But the Schuler family investigator says police never were convinced that the woman spotted sick by the side of the road was Schuler. And that if indeed it was her, how could her body have absorbed so much alcohol? If she had been drinking, she would have had to metabolize the amount of alcohol that's in her system within the time period that she had before the crash. If she's vomiting it, she's not metabolizing it. It's not going into her system. The report indicates that Diane Schuler's husband, Danny, said Diane smoked marijuana once in a while, but her sister-in-law, Joan, said she used it on a regular basis. What Joan Schuler has said to me is the last time she ever knew her to smoke pot was before Aaron was born, which puts it over two, two and a half years ago. The victim's family say they'll file a civil lawsuit when the accident investigation is complete. On the West Side, Dick Brennan, Fox 5 News. Same sex.